Hi there. Who here have dream of owning their own business? Raise up your hand. Wow, that's a lot of people. <laughs> so I started when I was seven years old. Um, I live in a very small town in Edmonton and live in a trailer. And there was no TV, there was no friends to play with after school. There was only my sister. And we used to ride on the bike, we used to play on the grass motor. And most of the time I would sleep on the grass and look up to the sky. I thought, oh, the sky's huge and I want to dream something big. I want to have my own business one day. So when I went to university, I went to the city of Edmonton and I studied supply chain management and international business. And at that time, I was thinking, since I'm young, I want to see as much as I can and I want to see experience as much as I can. Um, so there was an opportunity. There was an um, opportunity for us a business um, exchange program where I go to Japan, I go to Beijing. And at that time in, J in Japan, there was a speaker, a business speaker, exactly like today. And I don't remember his name and I don't think you will rem remember mine after this talk. But one thing I remember what he said to me was that for your first job, you need to work in a big company. And um, in a big company, you need to watch, listen, and learn from that company. But at that time, I was like, oh, OK, so watch, listen, and learn. So I want to see as much as I want. So I went to Japan, uh, Beijing, and I thought I'd pass by Hong Kong and find a big company. I did, I found a big company and I went to a fashion company. Um, I learned how to build up a brand. I learned how to make clothes from Cyril and how to take that clothes and market it out into the, market it out to the, mar um, to the street. And then I was thinking, well, a lot of people think it's a big company and the next step is going to a big company and then you will work up into the ladder and that's your whole next step. But for me, I had thought differently. I thought, since I wanted to have my own business, I should get my hands dirty. I should, I should work in a startup company where I can do everything and I learn how to build up a company in, from zero. So I did, I quit that job. I went to a startup company with only two person in, in that company and my boss was trying to build her, her brand and I helped her a bit. At the time I was thinking, if I want to build my own business, I have to treat this as my own business. And so I had that thinking and I had that thought. So my, my boss would give me many different things to do. I had to do marketing, I have to do PR, I have to do promotions, I had to run a whole fashion show, I had to do events. And one day we had this one idea. We wanted to run the biggest fashion show in Hong Kong. It was working with a Tattler magazine. And um, at the time, it was a really, really small company. We don't have a budget. The budget was zero, definitely, like no money. And I had to find sponsorship. I had to find all the celebrity. I had to find all the PRs by myself. And we had to invite everybody to the event, to the fashion show. And at the time, we, were, we would write all the invitation card by hand, 1,000 invitation card by hand, and end up 500, more than 500 people came, and all celeb celebrity came, everybody came. At the time, we had one idea, and we have nothing, we have no budget, and we, we knock on all the door, asking everybody, and at the end, next day, we were in the red carpet. So I took all my network, I took all my connection, and I went to my next, next job. My next job was group buying company. I don't know if anyone here have learned, heard about group buying. It, it's like Groupon, Be Crazy, like Yahoo. So most of the time, I would um, talk to business owners, and they need to offer uh, more than 50% of their products and services. At that time, I learned to listen to all the clients. 
um, know all the ups and downs of how they run a business, all the challenge, in, ha, ch challenge they had in a business. And it just, I was working there for four years and every day I would listen to all the businesses, how they run it. And I think Scott very, very bored. And I thought, um, I want to have my own business too. Like what business? I don't know, I didn't know at the time. I have no idea. I just want my own business. But one day, I saw that I was looking for a gold chain that I was very particular about and I wanted very close to my skin. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it online. I couldn't find it in the shop. So I found this gold tattoo materials that is very close to skin. And I know what you're thinking. Temper tattoo, tattoo stickers, where you play when you're young, when you're um, used to put it when you're w as a kid. For me, this tattoo material was more than that. When I saw this material, a lot of design had been flowing to my head, and I wanted to design many things. So I start taking jewelry out from my drawer, from my friend drawer, I put it all together. And I created classic, girly, and rebels, three collections. And then I start putting the pens and paper on and start sketching it. And I have a lot of design on the table. And I start picking up the best one and put them into collections. And now I have this final product where we have all different kinds of sizes. And for this, now I get inspired from all the arts that I go to, art museum. I love talking to people, so I would go and talk to my friend, get inspired from them. I would go see how people wear jewelry, where they will wear jewelry, and most of the time you can just look out to the window and see, see the um, geometric. Everything is inspiring me, especially when I see my son drawing. <laughs> I would look to the, his as an inspiration for my drawing as well. So now we have ex ins explored different parts of body eye jewelry. No one has thought about this parts of the body and who knows what's the next, next body part I will be doing. And we revamp the way people think and wear jewelry. We broke the traditional of how and where you will wear jewelry. And we created a jewelry where you can express yourself. You can put pieces together, you can put many as a puzzle and you can create your own look. And now, everyone is wearing it. And I will want to end this talk by, you are young. Life has no limits. Embrace your world and go beyond yourself. Thank you.